Roadbond EN1 is used in place of lime to stabilize clay subgrade soils. It is a green, earth-friendly product that promotes a sustainable environment. It is also placed, mixed, compacted, and finished in one operation without the need to remix. Many projects are placed and paved in less than five days. Many lab tests and field trials have been conducted in order to evaluate the effectiveness of Roadbond EN1. The general findings are that it improves the strength of clay soils and the strength improves over time. Also, the treated soil is four times less permeable than lime-treated soil and two times less permeable than untreated soil. Additionally, the dry weight of the treated soil increases slightly. These benefits are accomplished by fundamentally altering the ability of clay to hold absorbed water, which is water held by electrical attraction. Roadbond EN1 causes clay to release weakly ionized water particles from the clay matrix and replaces the water with strongly ionized sulfate radicals. The exchange is permanent and takes place at normal pH levels. As in lime treatment, metal hydrates are formed which help increase the strength of the clay. Moreover, by leaving the clay matrix intact, the permeability of the treated soil is significantly reduced. In an important study, the Texas Transportation Institute was commissioned by TxDOT to identify effective alternates to lime stabilization in clay soils subject to sulfate-induced swell. As reported in Research Report 3929-1, Roadbond EN1 was one of several chemicals tested. The researchers also tested lime and untreated clay soil. The purpose of the study was to identify stabilizers that yield three benefits. These benefits are, number one, provide a working table for construction in adverse weather, number two, increase the strength of the treated soil over the raw, and number three, control the potential swell of clay soil. In order to evaluate the benefits, TTI tested eight attributes of the various products. They are strength, stiffness, swell resistance potential, electrical conductivity, dielectric constant, permeability, total suction, and matrix suction. The results indicated that Roadbond EN1 had strength of 529 PSI, whereas the 6% line strength was only 417 PSI. Several products had no significant effect on strength, and the raw strength was 189 PSI. The stiffness of the Roadbond EN1 sample was 5,000 PSI, compared to only 2,000 PSI for the 6% lime sample. The stiffness of the raw sample was 588 PSI. The test also indicated the samples treated with Roadbond EN1 were six times less permeable than the 6% lime samples and four times less permeable than the raw clay. When the research was concluded and the results were evaluated, most of the products were declared ineffective. However, there were three successful products that were rated one through four in each tested property. 6% lime, one other product, and Roadbond EN1. Rating number one is excellent, number two is good, number three is fair, and number four is average. Roadbond EN1 was rated number one, excellent, in the tested properties of strength, stiffness, swell potential, and dielectric constant. It was rated good in permeability and suction and average in electrical conductivity. Roadbond EN1 did not receive a below average rating on any tested property. On the other hand, lime, the industry standard, was rated, quote, average or below average, end quote, in four of eight tested properties. The conclusions of the researchers determined that Roadbond EN1 quote, can be used in lieu of lime in lime sulfate heave areas, and it has been shown to be superior to lime in terms of strength, stiffness, permeability, and swell resistance potential, end quote. In another test, three and four years after construction with Roadbond EN1, core samples were taken from three streets in Harlingen, Texas. The core samples were exposed to moisture and displayed no swell. This reinforces the findings of the TTI report concerning the long-term effectiveness of Roadbond EN1.
The city of Dallas, Texas, has used Road Bond EN1 to rehab various city streets for over 15 years. In 2004 and 2005, the city conducted several field tests to better identify the benefits and savings of Road Bond EN1. In October 2004, Harlandale Avenue was rebuilt using Road Bond EN1 in the subgrade. Beginning on Friday morning, the street was scarified and one half the required amount of Road Bond EN1 solution was evenly distributed with a water truck. The section was then mixed full depth with one pass of the reclaimer. The remainder of the material was then distributed and another pass with the reclaimer was made. Once the material was completely mixed and optimum moisture content was achieved, the section was compacted for density with a vibratory pad foot roller. Once density was confirmed, the section was blue topped and rolled with a steel wheel roller to seal and smooth the surface. By the end of the first day, the section had been stabilized, compacted, and finished on grade. After compaction, the lab collected core samples that were bagged and sealed to preserve moisture content for later testing. The section received a slow, steady rain on Saturday and a few hours of sunshine on Sunday. However, on Monday morning, crews were able to set the forms in order to pour concrete paving on Wednesday. The section was stabilized on Friday and paved on Wednesday. Before lime can be remixed, Road Bond EN1 is often paved. Faster installation is an important benefit of Road Bond EN1. The samples collected the first day were tested for strength at different cure times. The untreated sample broke at 30 psi. The Road Bond EN1 samples had a 7-day break of 54 psi, a 28-day break of 85 psi, a 56-day break of 98 psi, and a 90-day break of 159 psi. Numerous tests have indicated that Road Bond EN1 improves the strength of treated soil, and the strength continues to improve over time. In 2005, the city of Dallas rebuilt several alleys using Road Bond EN1 in the subgrade. The corresponding geotechnical reports indicated that Road Bond EN1 treated samples were four times less permeable than the lime-treated samples and two times less permeable than the raw clay. Moreover, the report again concluded that Road Bond EN1 provides, quote, long-term strength gain, end quote, thus confirming the TTI report discussed earlier. On one project, Satsuma Alley, Road Bond EN1 was installed according to the specification. However, before the alley was paved, it rained on Monday morning. Because the paving surface is to be the drainage grade, without the paving in place, the alley pooled water. Complying with the installation specification, the contractor drained the pooled water when the rain stopped that afternoon. The next morning, crews were able to begin setting the forms. Later, the testing lab confirmed density prior to paving and the section was paved that Friday. Incredibly, on Monday, the section was underwater, and on Friday, it was paved. These are just a few reports and projects that illustrate the construction benefits and long-term advantages of Road Bond EN1. These benefits and advantages include increased strength and durability, strength improves over time, working table for construction in adverse weather, controls the swell and reduces the permeability of clay soils, less delay from placement to blue top, installation is reduced from days to hours, much less water, labor and fuel requirements, saves natural resources, and no adverse reaction to high sulfate soils.